creation of web grids so open application double click on documents click on actions new you can create your own folder with with your name and then click on data grid so in this six and seven points are very very important whatever we put in rows and columns they are front end dimensions remaining all are back end dimensions front end dimensions will have multiple member selections whereas back end dimensions will have single member selection so by default account and period will be in rows and columns so you can drag entity dimension to columns you don't want period just drag back to pov so click on account dimension remove this none either you can select individual members or entire hierarchy so expand for example total assets you can click on total assets and you, you can click on descendants or base member or children so i'll click total assets base members click ok entity same i can select individual members also from asia to india right remove this none and select so back and pov will have single member selection scenario actual year 2015 scenario view value always entity currency so you can select other members also right in journal entries and other chapter so as of now we'll select always entity currency okay icp always none product whatever the base member you can you want you can select movement movement underscore cash data source so you can select data source as data input multi gap always local gap and then period so click on save select the folder i'll select the grid name as total assets for asia right click save to see the data you can click on grid viewer see i can see data for hong kong asia yes you can try enter the data uh, data 500 and 800 so light green color is parent green color is parent you cannot enter data either it is a parent or calculated calculate data means the data which is coming from rule file dark yellow color is data entered but not submitted lighter yellow color is data submitted so when i click on submit button you can see data is submitted so for parent i have to right click and consolidate see i have to right click and consolidate all with the data then if exchange rates are already entered so hong kong dollars japanese and will be translated and it will be translated to usd and then it will be consolidated to asia so i want to see data for january and february so the main point is front end dimensions will have multiple member selections so if you want to see january and february go to designer mode and then drag this january to here select january as well as february also yes now click on save button and then click on grid viewer now you can see both january data as well as february data see you can enter the data 400 submit so front end dimensions will have multiple member selections and back end dimensions will have single member selection either i can see actual data or if you have budget budget data either 2015 or 2016 i cannot select both 2000 and 2016 from back and see 
now it's completely 2016 data so green color is parent or calculated value yellow color is light yellow color is data dark yellow color is data entered but not submitted you can still enter data in q1 q2 q3 q4 also so if i select this january drag back the spirit to back end and then select this as q1 see it will be light green color still you can enter data yes it means in quarters also we can enter the data so right orange color is invalid intersection so invalid intersection means i cannot select the members which for example there is an account dimension there is a direct relation between account and custom dimension so i'll drag this data source to here front end so here i'll select data input as well as none now see right save this one and see this none is a orange color means invalid intersection right so what is invalid intersection if i open the metadata account dimension for every account dimension i put total data source multi gap product and total moment so when you see the data source dimension there is no none member here under total data source that is the reason you cannot select none member so i can i can select no data source i can select data input manage data supplementary data etc but not none if you if you take none it will come under invalid intersection so i can select any member under the hierarchy of total data source because in the account dimension i have given the custom top member as total data source this is called invalid intersection this is called data grids